because I am coming at you today with a pretty big haul. I picked up some things over the last couple of weeks that I wanted to share with you. Um, I stopped at DSW and did a little damage. I also got something from The Gap and Banana Republic and of course Louis Vuitton and one little special item from Barney's. So let's get started on this haul. The first thing I'm going to show you is DSW. So I had a coupon for $10 off and then I also had a three times the rewards points coupon so I went ahead and combined those. Um, I wasn't sure I was going to do that until I went into the store and I found several things I liked. So the first pair are by Skechers and these are very similar to a very high-end brand and I think you'll know as soon as I show them to you who I'm referring to. And I got these beautiful tennis shoes in the white with the gorgeous flowers stitched onto them. Beautifully, beautifully done. Absolutely gorgeous. And these look very similar to Gucci, as you can tell. Um, I will try to insert a photo here so you can see. And these are really nicely made, I have to say. I'm very, very impressed with Skechers. I think these are adorable, and I think I'll get a lot of use out of them. I probably won't get to use them until next, until spring, um, but I'm excited to have these. And they were on clearance. So the price was $64.98, and then I believe the green sticker, I can't remember, but I think that was 50% off. So... That was the first pair. The next pair caught my eye when I was walking down the aisle. I just saw them and thought these were adorable. And I don't think they're any main name brand that I've ever heard of, but they are super cute. Polka dot flats and they are canvas and they have the inside cut out, which is super cute. And they're just flats, but they have the little tread here, which is nice. And they're really cushy. They have a lot of cushion here as you can see you can see the indentation and these were $29.99 and they were marked down I think maybe 40% I can't remember all the colored stickers those of you who shop at DSW often will probably know maybe Miss Chanel Claire if you're watching hey girl but these were a good find so this last pair of shoes I picked up is by Chinese Laundry and I love the box. I think the box is so pretty. It's got the black and white with the little colored bird here at the top. Makes you just want to color this. You can see the shoes on her feet. I just think this is such a pretty box. And these were the first pair I grabbed. These really caught my eye. And I thought they were so cute. And this is what they look like. And I love the square heel and the single strap in the front. And then this just wraps around your ankle. Very, very sexy. And I just love the, like, it's almost like a snake skin. I don't know if that's gonna come out on my phone, but that is like a snake skin material. And it's just so chic. I just love them. I think they're so cute. And these were $39.99 and whatever the blue tag is, these are absolutely my favorite of the three pair. I love them and I can't wait to wear them. Definitely excited to have these and wear these probably next season. So it wouldn't be a normal shopping trip for me if I didn't pick up maybe a purse since I'm purse diva. <laughs> and of course you all know if you watch my channel that I have a lot of purses already. But this one really spoke to me and it's so different than anything I have and I think I say that all the time but this one was like kind of a no-brainer I mean it wasn't that expensive I mean considering we have Louis Vuitton and Chanel and you know whatever else in our repertoire now I couldn't pass it up I walked around with it for a while and I debated but I just couldn't pass it up so I got this Steve Madden bag and you know, this can go one of two ways. This can be taken as youthful and, you know, like immature, or it can be taken as very trendy and very cool and very chic, I guess, because the military style is very in right now. Um, Henry Bendel is doing a lot of this with patchwork all over their bags, and they're selling like hotcakes. 
There's even one back here, which I really like. And as you can see, this looks like it's denim, but it's not. It's like a coated canvas, almost like Louis Vuitton coats their you know, canvas bags. It's like a coated denim, and it looks like it's almost stonewashed, if you guys are old enough to know what that is. <laughs> so this is by Steve Madden. I don't know if that's coming out, but um, it doesn't have feet at the bottom. I love that it has this thicker shoulder strap and it's kind of like a bucket bag. And I love the pins on the front. Um, this says SM New York. And then you've got like a little diamond here with stars. You've got a sewn on star patch here, another star. And then you've got these, which are also sewn on. These pins are removable. Um, this means I love New York, but maybe it means something else. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then you've got more patches sewn on here. Um, it's got the two pockets here in the front. And the inside material is actually suede, which is really nice. And then on the inside, this is kind of unique. It's got like a floating piece here. So I can put my hand underneath this, which I probably can't show you. Well, maybe a little there, but it's floating in there. Um, I don't think it's removable. No, it's not removable, but it just kind of floats in there and it's a nice size zipper pouch. And inside, there's another pocket here. And then there's the two cell phone pockets there. And then you have the suede lining inside the rest of the bag. Isn't this just cute? I love it. I think it's really cute. And I like that it's gold hardware, but it's like a muted gold. It looks almost silver. And this is a crossbody strap, so it can be worn as a crossbody, which I think is also a great idea. But I will more than likely wear it like this most of the time. But I think I'll keep the strap on there. And I love that it has these tassels on the zippers. Very well made. Um, so Steve Madden on there. And I just think it's such a cute bag. And I had to grab it. So the price was... $49.95. This was not on sale, but um, again, I had a $10 off coupon, so maybe if you just think of it that way, I paid $39. So not bad. And then look at the little dog tags that I will get a lot of use out of. So I'm excited for that. So the next item comes from The Gap. I ordered something from The Gap. I saw this in the store, but they didn't have my size, so I had to order it. And the last time I checked, this was um, still on the website. It is now out of season, but it is absolutely adorable. It is a strapless dress, and it's a khaki color. It's got this belt here in the front, which I love. And I got it in a petite because it was kind of a long dress. Um, and I think this is perfect for summer weddings, barbecues, whatever you you know want to wear it to. It could be a work dress if you want to put a jacket over it. I just fell in love with it and I love how it's strapless but it has like this lapel here that splits and I got it in a 14 petite. Um, looks like it does come with straps if you want to use them which is nice. They just hook on right there. They've got the little loops. It's so pretty and I had coupons and all of that good stuff, so of course I had to you know, grab it. And then I stopped at Banana Republic the other day, and I picked up just a couple things. Um, I actually did not intend on getting anything, but it worked out really nicely. Both of these items were actually on sale. They were on clearance, and that's typically where I like to go first when I go to the store. So the first item I grabbed is this gorgeous jacket with the ruffle sleeve and waist. I just love it. It's, a, it's really a casual jacket, but it's made of that like boucle material. So it screams Chanel. And I love that it has the zipper on the side, kind of like that asymmetrical zipper on the side here. And I think this can be casual or dressy. Um, I just fell in love with it. I had to have it. They, I was so fortunate they had one in my size. And it was $53. 
and then it was 40% off plus an additional 10% off for card holders. So very excited to have this. Next thing that I grabbed was this asymmetrical top and it's you know no sleeve on here and then the ruffle sleeve on this side and I just love it. It's in a beautiful ivory color and I think this will be perfect for business events that I go to. I can throw a jacket over it, but if it's warm enough, I can leave it off. You can also wear it with jeans and heels, which I think would be really cute if you're going out for the evening. This was $40, again, 40% off, plus an additional 10, and very well made. It's a thicker material. Really excited about this. I love the ruffle on that. Just think that is gorgeous. So got that from Banana Republic. And we did a little stop into Pandora. I decided to pick up a couple goodies while I was there. I haven't been in the Pandora store in a long time. I typically leave that up to my husband to, to go shopping for me there. Um, but I saw a couple things. They had a big sale. If I recall correctly, I think they were like 80% off. So I had to take advantage of it while I could. So let me take out the tissue paper. And you know you always get such a nice presentation with Pandora. Even the bottom of the bag says thank you. I just think that's so nice. And so I got something in a big box and something in a little box. They both say Pandora on them. And so we'll start with the big box. And I picked up this beautiful cuff. And I'll show you what it looks like. I actually have the matching ring to this already. So um, I was excited to see that it was on sale and it's gonna be hard to focus, but it says Pandora all the way around and it's got the beautiful crystals in the center and it's beautiful sterling silver or 925 silver. And it came in three sizes. It came in a small, medium and large and my wrists are fairly small. So I went with the medium because the small was just a little too snug. This gives it the ability to move on your wrist and then you can stack it. And I just thought that was really pretty. So that was the first purchase. And I just love these beautiful velvet boxes. Great gift boxes to save, to give to you know other gifts to people. So in this little box, I picked up the cutest charm. And as you can see, it's a mini Chanel inspired bottle and I just fell in love with it, of course. And it says, Eau de Pandora. <laughs> You're probably not going to be able to see that. I don't think I can get a focus on that. I will try. There you go. Maybe a little bit. But I fell in love with this little guy. I thought it was so cute. So that's what I got from Pandora. So next is... Louis Vuitton and this was a very unexpected impromptu purchase however this is something that I have wanted for several months now I've seen it a few times in the store a couple times I've seen it on um, Instagram and I've had my eye on it but justifying the price of it has been difficult for me but I've decided that I can't live without it and it's something that I will put to use. I will get use out of it, um, but not the intended use. So let me get started with the unboxing and I will show you. And he did such a beautiful presentation for me in this box. And here is my proof of purchase. Whoops. And I have several essays <laughs> at that store, but the one that helped me that day is Horatio. In case you all are interested, make sure you check him out. He's fabulous and he's taken such good care of me for a long time. So make sure you check him out. And as many of you know, if you're in the Chicago area, Jeffrey is also a fabulous, fabulous essay at that store. And I've worked with both of them now for a long time and they are wonderful. So if you get a chance to get here to Chicago and you're going to go to the Oak Brook store, make sure you say hi to them. For me that is absolutely gorgeous I hate to even open this box but I will do it to show you what's inside so let's pull the ribbon and 
I love this because it's a magnetic box, one of my favorites. Love these magnetic boxes. Great for storage. Great for storage of your receipts, your proof of purchase. They fit nicely inside these boxes, as you can see. So if you're somebody who likes to keep those, um, this is the inside job he did. Very nice. Hopefully you're watching, Horatio. Hey. And let's pull the paper open. <laughs> And inside is just a little something. Some of you might guess what that is just from the size of it, but others might be clueless. So this is going to be interesting for you guys. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> this is something I've had my eye on, like I said, for a while. And it's a luxury item. Of course, Louis Vuitton is all luxury items, but this is probably a little bit more of a luxury item because it's not a necessity whatsoever. And it is the fabulous perfume case. <laughs> it is absolutely gorgeous. I just love it. It is beautiful. And I've had my eye on this for so long. I couldn't justify spending the money for it. I'll show you how much it costs in just a minute. Um, but this is multiple use, okay? So you can put your perfume in it. Of course, your Louis Vuitton perfume or any perfume if you want and keep it on your dresser. And that's the intended use. However, what it can be used for also is pens, lipstick, um, your small, you know, travel size perfumes. Um, it can be a great travel case for your jewelry. And so there are multiple uses and I had to get my mind wrapped around that because it is a big splurge for something like this. But I just couldn't get it out of my head. I love items like this. I mean, when Louis Vuitton creates these types of unique pieces, it's for me. He's, they're making them for people like me <laughs> because I have to have them. So thank you so much, Louis Vuitton, for designing this because I love it. And I almost don't want to touch it. As you can see, this hasn't even been used on the display. This is brand new and it is so shiny. But you just pull the little latch down here in the front and then it opens up and inside is the gorgeous I think they call this Alcantara Alcantara it's like a suede material and it's so pretty mm. and it smells of leather and goodness and it's so craft so nicely crafted you can see the brass rivets on the inside they both say Louis Vuitton and here is the SKU number in case you're interested in the QR code. And then it comes with the textile card. And it comes with a little booklet on how to care for it. And then at the very bottom, it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in Italy. Hopefully you can see that. And I just love this. And it's got the Vichetta all the way around the bottom and I love how they have designed this it is just gorgeous look at the rivets on the back so I'm absolutely head over heels in love with this item thrilled that I have it in my collection now and I will be Instagramming this and showing you how I can how you can use this so make sure you are following me at persteva38 and you'll get to see um, I'm sure you'll get to see this quite often and they do also have this in epi it comes in a pink epi and I believe like a ivory or a white epi and then my essay was telling me that they are designing it in all vaquetta where you can have the top hot stamped however that right there is something you would have to take very, very good care of and protect. So um, that wasn't for me. <laughs> so that is what I got from Louis Vuitton. And then my proof of purchase, I will show you. And as you can see, it was $400 plus tax, brought it to $430. And so again, definitely a splurge. Um, it is just absolutely fabulous and it does hold the hundred milliliter perfume if you have any of the Louis Vuitton perfumes so it can be used specifically just for that if that's what you're looking for and the final item and last but definitely not least I picked up 
a little something from Barney's New York and very unexpected but it you know it kind of fell into my lap and I just had to kind of take it home <laughs> so here's my proof of purchase and it's something that I do already have in my collection in another color um, but I just I just had to get this one too it was just too pretty to pass up so it comes in this beautiful dust bag and inside the dust bag is the beautiful YSL card case with the silver hardware and it is absolutely stunning and it's something that can go with just about everything and I just love it. it they had this they had the gold and they had a new gray color which was like a snakeskin kind of material it wasn't this this type of leather and I really agonized over which one to get but this traditional classic silver just drew me in and so I picked up this little beauty and I just I just fell in love with it so I now officially have two of these in my collection and I'll insert a photo below of the other so now I have another to go with just about anything in my collection and the proof of purchase I will share with you this retails for two hundred and fifty dollars and of course with tax it was two seventy sixty three which wasn't too bad so really excited to have this in my collection that concludes my haul for you and I appreciate all of you watching and I want to thank you all for being subscribers to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm very, very grateful to all of you for continuously coming back to support me and um, following me also on Instagram. Thank you so very much. Definitely give me a thumbs up and make sure you hit the bell for notifications when I upload new videos. And I look forward to seeing all of you in my next video. And I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time, divas. Mwah. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh, oh.